Hello, today you're going to learn about an important topic in project management called the WBS or Work Breakdown Structure. This is an important tool that every project manager and every single professional involved in project management activities should know about. In today's video, we are going to briefly explain what is a work breakdown structure and how to construct one for your projects. A work breakdown structure or WBS is a hierarchical decomposition of a project into smaller, more manageable components. It provides a visual representation of the project's scope, deliverables, and activities. Each level of the WBS breaks down the project into smaller, more detailed tasks, making it easier to plan, organize, and manage the work. Assume that you have a project as a whole listed on your to-do list. Carrying out the activities and figuring out where to start from and where to end the project will be a really, really tough thing. So in order to avoid doing so, what you need to do is to create a work breakdown structure for your project to better plan and better implement the activities and tasks within the project scope. Here is how a typical work breakdown structure is structured. At the highest level, we have the project level. At this top level, the WBS represents the entire project. It defines the major deliverables or outcomes that need to be achieved. For example, as seen in this example, we have a project called AWS. Now, further we are going to break down the project AWS into its phase level. Bear in mind that these types of breakdown might be differently defined from different sources that you're reading and going through online resources. But the final product is the very same thing, a project decomposed into smaller and more manageable tasks. So at the second level or the phase level in here, the project breaks down into phases or major work packages. These phases represent distinct stages of the project. For this project AWBS, we will have the planning, design, development, testing, and implementation. Number three, we have to further decompose the phases into tasks. Within each phase, tasks are further broken down into more specific activities. These tasks are typically smaller in scope and can be assigned to individuals or teams. They represent the specific actions required to complete the project successfully. In some cases, it might be needed to further decompose the project to subtask level. Subtasks provide a more detailed breakdown of the activities required to complete a task. The WBS helps in organizing and managing the project by providing a clear structure and defining the relationships between different components. It enables project managers to estimate the time, resources, and budget required for each task and track progress effectively. It also helps team members understand their roles and responsibilities and ensures that all project activities are accounted for. Overall, the WBS serves as a foundation of project planning, scheduling, and communication, enabling efficient project management and successful project completion. I hope you have found the content of this video helpful. If you did so, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and following us on Instagram and LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.